what's up y'all so i'm in the airport headed to nasa uh for fourth of july and then headed to Ilutro. flights ain't been working with me lately because my last few flights i've been delayed three four hours every time and we were doing so good because we were actually on the plane on time already pushed back from the gate and then the pilot came on and said there was some kind of problem with the plane a warning light so we can't depart with the light so they brought us back took us off the plane and y'all know when they make you deplane it's gonna be a long delay so they just made an announcement they're gonna update us every 30 minutes so that means this gonna be long so i came and came to get some food have a drink try to kill the time and pass the time but hopefully this isn't too long man one thing about bahamas there though people talk bad about them but they didn't get you there safely so i rather the problem happened while we were on the ground instead of in the air so what could you do i'll get there eventually better safe than sorry so my flight was about five hours delayed but i won't complain because like i said better to be safe than sorry landed in nassau uh, Matthew picked me up from the airport and we were headed to link up with my mom uh, before I head to one of the smaller islands called Ilutro for a funeral. But this is downtown New Providence. This is the Point Hotel. There's so much going on in Nassau, man. I always say Nassau is like New York and the island I'm from, Freeport, is more like Florida. But Nassau is always popping. This is British Colonial Hotel, one of the oldest hotels on the island. So it's a historic building. And we're moving down to, you know, what we call East Bay Street, headed towards Paradise Island. A lot of people are familiar with the Atlantis and Paradise Island. So here we are on Paradise Island Bridge, going over PI. Looking forward to going to Ilutro though. Um, I went there when I was two, so I always say I've never been before because I don't remember anything. But I pulled up on my mom and she had mango waiting for me and we were trying this different type of mango I've never really seen before. Other one as to what I ate, because there was two in there, no hair. Just smooth. Mm. But this is good too. This one here may mm. be a different one. And the color's so different. Yeah. I never see it because I thought this was grapefruit or something when you first pull this out. So after eating the mango, I went straight to bed. Fast forward to the next day, going over to take my mommy to the doctor office for to check something really quickly but the traffic was at a standstill they were doing some road work at the bottom of the bridge and as you can see it took a while but once we were done matt picked me up and we were gonna go and look for some food it's hot it is hot had a quick detour up in the camera my mommy to the doctor for a quick something now we go and get one crack on <laughs> come on secret place where most nasovians would never go for crack on my favorite spot. Let me show you all where. Let's go. Decided to invite my parents to come meet us for lunch. They came to the spot called Viola's Bar and Grill over Paradise Island that I absolutely love. And here's the trick. They got crack kong for the load. But this heat, guys, today, it was no joke. What's that? What a all right mommy 24 you too look at mommy she's like am i taping her she don't want to be on camera you know i know she probably hates that i have her on youtube but guys i'm showing y'all the real deal and she's just got to be a part of it she'll get over it i promise <laughs> the food came it was good as usual this is crack conch and fries if you don't know what conch is it's you know a delicacy in the bahamas it's one of our favorite shellfish it's one of my favorite and when i hit home i always got to get conch salad and i got to get crack conch it's a must Listen to me, this heat is no joke. It's a different type of heat. Crazy. Me and Matt just about to go outside. And, and we was bad. like, we got to go somewhere, whatever you see. Right? I was trying to enjoy the view, the island life. I mean, sorry, you gotta do the view then. Not... Yeah, forget that. Y'all, Matt, whenever Matt on the blog episode, I got to put on. Beep, beep it out. Uh, okay. I got to put on. Sensor. Yeah, a parental advice. You right. <laughs> strong, the, strong, 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 like, strong, like, strong, like, strong, like, strong, like, strong, like, but the crack off is good, right? Delicious. It was but really always, good. always delicious, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was good to go have lunch with the parents. So we feel like 
you know we spend some time with them now we're going to see how this bridge look because it's a shift change around now and if it's too too bad we just have to make a detour until afterwards but you're lying now so have a couple hours so we need to maximize so we'll be going to ac spots if you've have ever to. visited nassau what's some of your favorite places to go when you're on the island um let us know yeah let us know in the comments below and it's 4th of July, so we can hit up maybe Bahamas. One of the hotels, going to see some fireworks. That's right. So, y'all already know the vibes, but I'm going to keep you all posted. Make sure like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This little boy trying to get knocked down. Hey. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe to the channel to stay tapped into the travels and the vlog and, you know, to see a little bit more of my tomorrow. Boom. So, my cousin Moosey came to meet up with us after work just to connect. Moosey's going on a trip to Eleuthera as well, so he just met up with us and we were just vibing out for 4th of July. I don't know what this is we drinking, guys, but it looks like leaves. I don't know. He took me to the spot and this is like a bush drink right here that's supposed to be a good clean out for everything all ailments flus headaches everything you take a shot of this bush and you should be good so we took it guys it tasted nasty i mean it just tasted like straight out of the out of the ground like imagine what it looks like it tastes exactly like what it looks like <laughs> Like, 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 what ailments does that cure? That has to be good for you. That's the booster after. That's what vaccine is. Say it there. You know, you guys are all about the vaccine. This place was pretty cool. They had a little outside patio where they had live music. It was really cool. This is right off of East Bay. Man, these views are priceless. So we decided to like bar hop, maybe hit up four or five different spots. And we wanted to see fireworks, but we never made it to like Bahamar. So we just drive past Bahamar. Beautiful, beautiful resort. If you've never been to Nassau, guys, people like Atlantis, but I'm saying now in 2024, Bahamar is where you need to check it out. They've got a couple hotels on property and it's just the place to be. So check it out for sure. If you're visiting Nassau, uh, definitely see if you can book at Bahamar. You will not be disappointed. We had a long night of bar hopping, 4th of July, but we had a six o'clock flight to Eleuthera, you know, on Friday morning. And this is us, the whole family, everyone who flew from Nassau to Eleuthera. We stopped to have breakfast at this place called the Buccaneers Club. I really wanted chicken sauce, but they didn't have chicken sauce, but they had stew fish, so I got that. But it was just good to be able to spend some quality time with the family. Eleuthera, guys, is like off of the beaten path, super serene, super remote. Just get in touch with nature. We were literally on an island safari. We were going through the bushes. We were looking at some family property and it's really secluded and off the main road. So it was fun to just be able to do this with my parents, with my cousin, going through and experiencing it. What's up y'all? So we are on the road right now in Eleuthera, one of the smaller islands in the Bahamas. If you've ever been to Eleuthera, let me know what settlement is your favorite in the comments below. If you haven't been, you gotta take a trip. This is my first time here, so. <laughs> yes, the phone fell, so everyone laughed at me, uh, but that didn't stop anything. This is Palmetto Point, and now we're going even deeper into the bushes and seeing so many natural uh, wonders, just beach, ponds, trees, fruits vegetation man these type of trips make you really appreciate the simple life
So I'm exploring. We all the way in the bush, but let me see. It's a like a beach. Okay. Rocky. <laughs> We're on a real island. Safari. So after our adventure, we headed back to Governor's Harbor where we were actually staying at this uh, hotel called Pineapple Fields. It was really, 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 really nice, right? It's like little villas that you have with a full kitchen, uh, one bedroom, bath. That's all you need for a little island getaway. So we went up to hang out with the family and grab some food this afternoon before, you know, the funeral tomorrow. And we went out by, by the bay and I was looking for conch salad and I found the fish fry where they were having, you know, live DJ. There were so many tourists on the island just enjoying it and I got my conch salad fixed. So I was super excited about that. Y'all, the conch salad was so fresh. It was so good. If you've never had Kong salad before and you go to the Bahamas, you must, you must try it. Here it is right here. It's like a ceviche. You're probably going to see it on every vlog I do when I'm back home because it's my favorite thing to eat when I'm in the 242. What's up y'all? So we here at Elutra, right? And we on E, which means the tank is on empty. So we have to come to the gas station real quick because the gas station closes at seven. It's much different from Florida where I could just pull up at any time. We had to leave where we were at, come here to catch the gas station before seven because we gotta be outside tonight. Road a little bit, Moosey, road. Road, buddy. Road. Okay, he's a good boy now though. He don't really beat it no more. But when I was younger, I still used to beat it so bad. But now he good. <laughs> So we actually, you know, went and met up with some other family members and they brought us some fresh Elutra pineapple. Elutra is known for, you know, pineapple fields and they've got, I mean, so much pineapple that's grown locally. And y'all, this is so sweet. It's so much better than anything you'll find in the supermarket. I mean, freshly picked, freshly cut. I enjoyed it. Look at, look at how juicy it is. This is not Dole's pineapple. This is not This is not Dole's Elutra pineapple. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. This is it. In Iowa. It's different. I'm just killing it. I'm just killing it. Yeah, he used to that. He used to that. He used to that. You don't break it off, man. Yeah, I got my only good right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get a Yeah. So, today is my what third day here in Ilutro. Really having a really good time, and I, I, I hope they can make visiting the out islands of the Bahamas a whole lot more 
affordable because there's so much we need to see as Bahamians that we don't get to experience in this our country and looking around there's so many foreigners here who are really enjoying the beauty uh, and the views of these islands and most Bahamians have never even had a chance to experience it so I'm gonna make it my duty to make sure I visit more islands I met a ton of family here in Ilutro and I'm definitely gonna be back we were in Governor's Harbor and then we went to Palmetto Point. But today we head to Rock Sound, which is another settlement on the island of Ilutro. I've never been there, so excited to go there, grab some food before we head out and I head back to Nassau tonight and then back to the concrete jungle of Florida tomorrow morning. So it's been a great weekend, man, but your family is everything. I don't know if you're close with your family. If you are not, I would say try to do that because family matters for real, for real, for real. So this is what you would call a traditional Bahamian breakfast. This is yellow grits and tuna salad. That over there, that's just butter. But this, you wanna always have like pepper and lime and add it. So we don't do pancakes and eggs and bacon and stuff too often. That's American breakfast. This is Bahamian breakfast if you're not eating, you know, if you're not eating stew conch or stew fish or this is it, y'all, this to go to. Normally you could get this, you used to be able to get this for 99 cents back in the day. 99 cent breakfast. Then it moved to like $3. Then five. Now I on the island, it's for $12. <laughs> that's good for the right? That's good for the island. Everything on the out island, 25 and up. So one thing you got to know is the more remote you go, the more you're going to pay. But it's going to be worth it. So right now I'm here at the ocean blue hole in Rock Sound, Ilutro. This is a blue hole and it's a pond, but it's probably hundreds of feet deep. We have a lot of blue holes all around the islands. And this is one of the popular ones in this settlement. And I'm going to make sure I put some information about the blue hole, you know, in a clip in this video, but it is super cool. All of these natural, you know, these natural wonders that we have on these islands. We got to get out and explore more, man. Have you ever been here? Well, guys, thanks so much for watching the episode. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because I want to carry y'all on the journeys with me. One city, one country at a time. Let's grow. So, y'all, this is one adventure.